so fucking happy because today I'm celebrating my 12th year anniversary. Look, all you beautiful ladies, don't stress out because I'm not married and I'm still on the market. But what anniversary is this, you may be asking? So 12 years ago today, I walked out of hospital after doctors and specialists told my friends and family that I would never wake up again. So let me just tell you a little bit about this and about my life. So back in 2011, I was attacked on the way home from a nightclub, which resulted in me being rushed to hospital where I suffered from a fractured skull and a blood clot due to a bleed on the brain. And because of this, I had to be put into a coma and doctors and specialists told my parents that they should really highly suggest pulling the plug on my life support machine because I had absolutely zero brain activity. But again, thankfully for me, my dad saved my life because my dad said, no fucking way. Like, you are not turning this machine off on my son and I'll tell you when this machine gets turned off. So thank, thank my dad for why you're hearing my voices or my voice today and my words today. So the reason I'm telling you about this is because doctors and specialists were literally adamant that I would never, ever wake up again and that they, they should pull the plug on my life support machine. And thankfully, my dad saying that managed to get them to keep it on for a few more days, which in return, I started to improve and started to progress. So in life, I just want to compare it to our lives. Like many people are going to give up on you way too soon. So don't ever let someone else tell you when say, you're done or, or when you're finished or when you should stop trying or when you should give up on yourself, for instance. Like... In that hospital, I was unconscious whether to decide whether to switch my life support machine off or not, and it was totally in somebody else's control. But in life, I have noticed that many people who are alive and well have unconsciously pulled the plug on their own life. Because death is not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss is what dies inside us while we live. Because so many people are just waking up each day and just going through the, the mundane life of just waking up, going to a job that they hate because somebody else has limited their beliefs in themselves and in return is limiting what they think that they can do and is stopping them from taking the necessary actions to actually go on to achieve what it is that they truly want. So if you're listening to this today, never ever let someone else decide, design, determine or dictate your destiny because this is your life and yours alone to decide how you want it to end up and what you want your life to to, to be, you know, because it's down to you and nobody else is coming along to save you. You need to make the decision. I am going to achieve this in my life and nobody is going to stop me. Like, never let limited thinkers limit your actions, which in return will limit your results. And in the end, it's going to limit your fucking life. So let, don't let someone else who was either too scared to go after what they wanted or, or who gave up on their dreams, talk you out of pursuing and achieving your dreams. Because if you've got a dream in here, if you can think it, if you can see it in your own mind, and if you can believe it within here, you can definitely achieve it, and you can go on to living your dream life in the future. Look, I'm a prime example of this. 2011, I walked out of that hospital in 2012. 2011, sorry, I walked out in 2011, and through 2012, I rebuilt my life, and doctors said, like, I would never walk again, I would never talk again, I would never remember any of my friends and family, I won't have a clue of what's going on in my life, I'm going to need 24-7 round-the-clock care and attention, and I'm going to be in a vegetative state for the rest of my life. Look at me now, I've been travelling Latin America for coming up to a year and a half now, I've climbed mountains above 6,000 metres high, I've fucking jumped out of planes, you name it, I've done it. And... If I would have listened to the doctor's advice, or if my parents would have listened to the doctor's and the specialist, specialist's advice, like, I wouldn't have lived the life that I'm living now, and I wouldn't have been able to learn what I learned through, say, the most painful times in my life, to then help others and help you guys do the same. Because if I can do it, a guy that was literally on his deathbed with zero brain activity, fuck me, if I can come back from death, you guys here just... Not, not living a happy life, whether it's in a job that you're not enjoying, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's in a, a situation, say, living at your parents' house, negative friends. If you just got that to deal with, fuck me, for me that is so easy. Like, I've got through that so easy, so I can teach you and I can give you the tools to get through that so, so easy. Like, in my mind, I've done it, I've got the tools, I've got the steps, and 
I really want to give them to you guys because I know how it feels like to be in that shitty situation where you feel stuck, where you feel trapped. So please, let me reach out to you. Let me help you on this journey because trust me, as long as your beautiful heart is still beating, like life is not over. I once convinced myself that my life was over. When that relationship came crashing down with my ex-girlfriend, wow, I convinced myself that my life was completely over. And just looking back to 2011, going through 2012, my life was over. I was on my deathbed. I was literally brain dead, completely brain dead. And I come back from that. So if I can come back from death, yeah, for fuck me, I can come back from depression. I can come back from any challenge that, that I'm faced with. And the, the same goes for you guys. Like I say, as long as this heart is still beating, you're still in the game. And you can decide how your movie ends. Because this amazing life is a movie. And we're recording it for our own set of eyes at every single given moment. So if you're recording yours now through your own eyes. And you're, you're thinking, I'm not going to enjoy this when I get to the end of my life. I'm going to have regrets when they say mental movie gets played back to us and we get to see all of the amazing things, all of the people that we met, all of the things that we've done, how we helped contribute to the bigger picture of this world. If you're not going to be happy with, say, seeing your own mental movie be played back to you at the end of your life, for instance, don't let this, this next year go by without making changes. Look, we've got like a month left before the end of this year. Start making cho choices and decisions today because it's in your moments of decision that your destiny is shaped. Like all it takes is one decision, one action to literally transform your life. So start today and make the decision to say, fuck me. I'm going to not let 2024 go by and be in this same uncomfortable, unhappy position that I'm in now. And I'm going to say yes to myself and I'm going to say yes to making changes and I'm going to seek the guidance from other people. It might not be me, for instance. Look, I'd love to help you. I'd love to work with you on, say, a longer basis. Of course I would. But I'm going to help you with, say, finding other people as well because sometimes I can't help you with specific things as well. So I'm here to just help you get some clarity, get some guidance for what it is that you want to do. And I'm going to sort of send you in the right directions, whether that's be working with me, with someone else. It does not matter to me because what I don't want, I don't want anyone going through their life with, say, unused and undiscovered potential because so many people go through their lives, and I was one of those people, and they end up on their deathbeds with the regret of not going full out or finding out what it is that they truly want because the meaning of life is really to find your gift. But the purpose, like, you need to live life with purpose. Like, you need to discover what it is that you want and your, your true gift inside, and then you need to show up every day, every day living life with purpose, with intention... And just taking action steps towards, say, that desired destination on a daily basis. Like, the graveyard, listen to this, the graveyard is one of the wealthiest places on this earth. Just imagine all of those undiscovered and unused talents, skills and abilities that cease to exist. All of those would-haves, could-haves and should-haves that the world never had exposure to. And for me personally, like, I never want to perish filled with potential. Because I was there, I was on my fucking deathbed, and I had so much greatness inside of me, waiting to be shared with the world. And no, I decided to play it safe, I decided to take the easy option, I decided to be the car mechanic. Because that's what society and the people around me were telling me. You need that safe, secure job, whether you fucking like it or not. Wake up every day, drag yourself to that job. Fucking spend every day moaning and complaining about it. Wait for the weekend and go get pissed out your fucking face to forget about all of the shit that happened in the week. To then go back to Monday, drag yourself up and out to work to then repeat that shitty cycle and do it all over again. And I've done that for 13 fucking years, people. Over a decade of living my life so unhappily happy where I had to drag myself up and out of bed each day to go to a job that brought me no sense of joy, purpose, meaning or fulfilment. And I've just done it because society told me I needed to do it. I bought the house, I had the cars, I had the holidays. All this shit that society convinces us that we need to have in order to be, say, in order to be happy, in order to be successful, in order to be perfect, you know. But I had the perfect life on paper, but it wasn't perfect. It was a fucking trap. And I'm telling you, I lived it 20, 21 years old. I had a mortgage on a house. All of my friends and family looking at me saying, you are so successful. That is not success. Success is never found in people, places, materialistic items. Like, it got to a point in my life where, you know, the things I own end up owning me. And I had to say, work in that shitty job that I hated to pay for the mortgage, to pay for the holidays, to pay for the poison, the beer, the alcohol, 
to forget the shit that was going on in my life, you know. I had to pay for this materialistic shit to try and cover up and mask the pain that I was going through on a daily basis. So if this is resonating with anybody, trust me, you don't have to go through this any longer. There's a way of creating a proven procedure to create a plan to get yourself up and out of this, this ditch that you're currently in because no one's coming to save you and the only person that's going to get you out of this is you and you alone. Look, there's going to be people, me, other people, online, for instance, videos, books, whatever it is. There's ways of, say, helping you along this process and to get you there quicker, but nobody's going to do it because it starts with you making that one decision to say, look, I am going to change because your desire to change must be greater than your desire to stay the same. Because if nothing changes, then nothing changes. You're going to go through 2024 and you're going to be in exactly the same position. So make the fucking change today and say, look, I commit. I, I'm going to say yes to myself. I'm going to say yes to discover, discovering what it is that I want and yes to my dreams and take the required action steps. One action step and it's going to lead on to a next one because you know an object in motion usually stays in motion. So if you make that one decision today, say yes to yourself, say yes to your dreams, you're going to get flowing, you're going to get moving forwards, and you're going to start getting closer and closer and closer on a daily basis. So don't ever go through this next year just talking a good game, because I've done it for so long. Like I say, 13 years, I talked a good game. And in life, I say there is three types of ATs. There's action thinkers, action talkers, and action takers. And one of those, out of those three, only one of them will ever go on to achieving what it is that they truly, deeply desire in their lives. So you must take action, because action destroys procrastination. Action's what's going to get you from where you currently are to where you want to be, because the, the bridge between those two gaps is the action that you need to take. And just realise this, people. When you knock on the door of opportunity, it's work who will answer. So you can't just say, think of your dream life. You can't just pray and wish and just hope for your dream life. No, you've got to think of it. You've got to create a plan. You need support and guidance along the way. And then you need to take those daily uncomfortable action steps. So like I say, people, I've got some offers coming up. I've got some things going on at the moment where you can work with me on a one-to-one -one basis. And look, it's never going to be this cheap again. Like, I want to make this feasible and, and affordable for everybody in every situation because again I knew when I first invested in myself and I remember I paid like 300 odd pounds for an online course it was the most scariest thing I ever done as soon as I done it I'm not even joking I realized the value of this course that I invested in and my mindset was instantly upgraded and the amount of money after that never come into my thoughts again like yeah sometimes it's scary when I'm paying sort of over a thousand over two thousand over five thousand pounds for online courses you name it mentorship when you're paying thousands of pounds for this stuff yeah it's still scary but trust me I know now from doing it myself that every single time that I pay for myself and pay for my brain I upgrade it and the, the amount of knowledge and wisdom that I gain is absolutely priceless. You cannot put a tar you cannot put a price on your mindset, you know, because every time that I invest in me, I just upgrade my life. I can help people and it's always gonna come back to me. So if you want to invest into yourself, invest into your mindset, there's no amount of money that can pay for this. Like this is priceless in here. So start saying yes to investing in yourself. Don't think about the money, think of the progress because when you pay for this, you pay for speed. That's what you do with a mentorship, you pay for speed. So you can either try and do it yourself, which look, if you want to do it yourself, I'll give you some free tools and I'll give you all of the free tools that I have. You can join my free group, you can download my free manual and try and do it yourself. Please do, like you can, you can definitely advance and move forward. But if you want to get from here to there a lot quicker, Invest in yourself, get mentorship, get guidance along the way. Because I do it. Look, all coaches need coaches. I've got many coaches for different areas in my life. So if you really want to level up your life, and if you want to make big changes through 2024, if you want to get from where you are, get to where you want to be, or if you don't even know where you want to be yet, I'm going to help you discover, design, and live your dream life throughout 2024. So if this is something that you really sound interested in, please reach out to me. Send me a DM. Let's connect. We can jump on a call and if you're super interested about this and you're, you're truly serious about upgrading your life this next year coming up, 2024, I want to be the one to guide you along the way. And for me, it'd be an absolute pleasure to help you guys. So yeah, please reach out to me. Let's jump on a call. I want to offer you my super, super amazing offers. And like I say, they're never going to be this cheap again. So grab yourself these ridiculously reduced prices 
never seen be, to be seen again. And I'm not just saying this, like this is so cheap, I'm always giving it away. So jump on it now, grab this offer while you can for the Black Friday deals. And look, I really look forward to speaking to you and let's see how we can work together, my friends. So thank you so much for coming on and I look forward to seeing everybody on the next lives. So thanks people and speak soon.